Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about how to use the Redix to DIT FFT algorithm for the computation of fast Fourier transform. We have discussed the complete procedure for the computation of Redix to DIT FFT. And we have also drawn the butterfly diagram for a four point Redix to DIT FFT. Now in this lecture, we will draw the butterfly diagram for eight point Redix to DIT FFT. So butterfly diagram for 8 point DIT FFT. So we will understand the whole concept by the help of the procedure that we discussed in the previous class. So according to the Redix to DIT FFT algorithm, in the procedure, the first point we discussed is the length of the sequence capital N is always equal to 2 to the power number of stages, which is equal to capital M. Now, as we know that this is an 8 point DFT, so I can write 8 will be equal to 2 to the power 3. So 3 will be number of stages. So we have 3 number of stages. So we have divided the whole butterfly diagram into 3 stages. This one is my stage 1. This is stage 2. And this one is stage 3. For stage 1, my stage index is 1. For stage 2, my stage index small m is equal to 2. And for stage 3, the stage index m will be equal to 3. We have drawn here 8 number of horizontal lines. Because we have 8 point DFT, so 8 number of input and 8 number of output will be there. Now coming to the point number 2, the input sequence is shuffled through beat reversal for a DIT F50 algorithm and output is always in natural order. So we discussed in the previous class what is bit reversal for an 8 point DIT F50. So this we discussed in the previous class that after bit reversal my input will be small x of 0, small x of 4, small x of 2, small x of 6, small x of 1, small x of 5, small x of 3 and small x of 7. And output will be in natural order from capital X of 0 to capital X of 7. So let us write the inputs small x of 0, small x of 4, small x of 2, small x of 6, small x of 1, small x of 5, small x of 3 and finally small x of 7. So my inputs are in bit reversal and output are in natural order capital X of 0, capital X of 1, capital X of 2, capital X of 3, capital X of 4, capital X of 5, capital X of 6 and capital X of 7. So this will be my first stage and these lines are my first stage output. This signal lines are my first stage output and let the names are small s0, s1, s2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7. So the signals S0 to S7 will behave like output for the stage number 1 and input for the stage number 2. Now let my stage 2 outputs are P1, P0, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6 and P7. So the signals from P0 to P7 will behave like output for this stage number 2 and it will also behave like input for stage number 3. Now capital X of 0 to capital X of 7 is my final stage output or you can say third stage output because we have total number of 3 stages in this flow diagram. So point number 2 is over where input are in bit reversal and point number 3 is outputs are in natural order. Now coming to the point number 4. Now point number 4 states that each stage consists of n by 2 number of butterflies. So as the length of the sequence capital N is 8, so we have 8 by 2 number of butterflies in each stage. So there are 4 number of butterflies in each stage. Now coming to point number 5. Input and output of each butterfly are separated by 
2 to the power small m minus 1 number of samples where small m is the stage index so let us consider the stage number 1 where small m is equal to 1 2 to the power 1 minus 1 will be 2 to the power 0 which is equal to 1 so for stage number 1 the input and output will be separated by one number of sample which we discussed earlier in the previous class as these are the input side and these are the output side from input to output we will leave one number of sample and we will connect this point with this point now in the same way we will connect this point to this point by the help of a straight line so this is my first butterfly now as x0 and x4 are already engaged the next unengaged input is x2 so start from here leave one point connect here start from here connect here now x2 and x6 are engaged coming to x of 1 start from here leave one point join here start from here join here similarly start from x3 join here and start from here join here so the first stage butterfly is over now we can also check point number four that the first stage consists of four number of butterflies one two three four now let us calculate for the stage number two where small m is equal to two now two to the power two minus one is two to the power one which is equal to two so input and output are separated by two number of samples now let us start with the S0 we will always start with the first input so let us start from the S0 leave two points 1 2 and join here with the help of a straight line now similarly join this point with this point now you can see that the the input S0 and S2 are already engaged now next unengaged input is S1 so start from here leave two points join here again start from here and join here so s0 s1 s2 and s3 all these four inputs are engaged next unengaged input is s4 so start from here leave two points and join here similarly join this point with this point now next unengaged input is S5 start from here join here by leaving two points start from here join here so once again we can analyze the point number four total four number of butterflies must be in stage number two also so first butterfly second butterfly third one fourth one so there are four number of butterflies in stage number two also now let us calculate for stage number 3 for stage 3 my small m will be equal to 3 so 2 to the power 3 minus 1 is 2 to the power 2 which is equal to 4 so input and output of each butterfly must be separated by 4 number of samples so as P0 to P7 is the input for third stage and capital X0 to X7 is the final stage output so start from P0 leave 4 points 1 2 3 4 join at the fifth point with the help of a straight line similarly join this point with this point next unengaged input is P1 so start from here leave 4 points 1 2 3 4 join here with the help of a straight line similarly join this point with this point next unengaged input is p2 start from here leave four points one two three four join here with the help of a straight line similarly join capital x2 to p6 the last unengaged input is p3 start from here leave four points one two three four join here 
similarly join capital X3 with P7. So this is how we can draw the we can draw the butterfly for the third stage or you can say the final stage of this flow diagram. Now you can analyze the point number four also. There are total number of four number of butterflies in final stage also. So you can see that this is my first butterfly, second one, third one, and this is the fourth one. So in each stage we have four number of butterflies. Now my next point is point number six. And point number six states that the number of sets or section of butterflies in each stage is given by the formula 2 to the power capital M minus small m, where capital M is the number of stages and small m is stage index. So for stage number one, where small m is equal to 1, 2 to the power 3 minus 1 is 2 to the power 2, that is 4 number of sets are available in the stage number one. So let's see. So this one is first set. This is the second set, third set and fourth set. Now coming to the stage number two. Where small m is equal to two. Two to the power capital M minus small m, which is two to the power three minus two that is equal to 2 to the power 1. So two number of sets are available in stage number 2. So this part from S0 to S3 is my first set and this one is my second set from S4 to S7. Let us calculate for stage number 3 where small m is equal to 3, 2 to the power 3 minus 3 which is equal to 2 to the power 0 and that is equal to 1. So total of one number of set is available in the stage number three. So this is how we can calculate the number of sets or section of butterflies in each stage. So in point number seven, we will calculate the total factor exponent. For each butterfly in every stage and that is equal to K. Now we discussed earlier that the total factor exponent k is a function of small m or you can see the stage index and it is given by k is equal to capital N into t divided by 2 to the power small m where t is equal to 0, 1, 2 up to 2 to the power m minus 1 minus 1. So let us calculate the total factor exponent for stage number 1. Stage 1 where small m is equal to 1. First calculate t. t will be equal to 0 2 to the power 1 minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 2 to the power 2 to the power 0 which is equal to 1 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So I have one value of t only. So with the one value of t k will be equal to 0. So I can say so the total factor for stage number 1 will be w n to the power k which is equal to w 8 to the power 0. So we can write my total factor is w 8 to the power 0 w 8 to the power 0 w8 to the power 0, w8 to the power 0. Let us calculate the total factor exponent for stage number 2, where small m is equal to 2. Let us calculate t first. t will be equal to starting from 0 to 2 to the power 2 minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to 2 to the power 2 minus 1 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So starting from 0 to 1. So we have two values of t for stage number 2. So we need to calculate the value of k for two values of t. For t is equal to 0 and for t is equal to 1. So for t equal to 0, 
k will be equal to n into 0 by 2 to the power m which is equal to 0 that means w8 to the power 0. For t equal to 1 k is n into t by 2 to the power small m that is 8 into 1 by 2 to the power 2. So this is 2. So I can write w8 to the power 2 is my total factor for stage number 2. So we have two total factors. One is w8 to the power 0 and second is w8 to the power 2. So for the first butterfly, the total factor is w8 to the power 0 and for the second butterfly, it is w8 to the power 2. Similarly, in the second set or section also, the first total factor is w8 to the power 0 and second one is w8 to the power 2. Now let us calculate for the final stage or you can say stage number 3. Small m is equal to 3 and t will be equal to 0, 1 up to 2 to the power m minus 1 minus 1. which is equal to 0, 1, up to 2 to the power 3 minus 1 minus 1, 0, 1, up to 2 to the power 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, so 4 minus 1 is 3. So we have 4 values, 0, 1, 2, 3. So we have 4 values of t. So we will determine the value of k for 4 values of t, for t equal to 0, for t equal to 1, for t equal to 2, and for t equal to 3. So for t equal to 0, k is always equal to 0 as we calculated already. So my total factor will be w8 to the power 0. For t equal to 1, k is n into t by 2 to the power m. So I can write 8 into 1 by 2 to the power 3. So this is 1. So I can write w8 to the power 1. For t equal to 2, k is n into t divided by 2 to the power m which is 8 into 2 divided by 2 to the power 3. So 8 and 8 cancel out. We have the value of k equal to 2. So I can write w8 to the power third total factor and for t equal to 3 k is equal to n into t by 2 to the power small m n is 8 t is 3 and this one is 2 to the power 3 so 8 and 8 cancel out k is equal to 3 so my total factor will be w8 to the power 3 so for final stage I have four total factors w8 to the power 0 for first butterfly w8 to the power 1 for second butterfly, w8 to the power 2 for third one and w8 to the power 3 for fourth one. So let us locate the total factor. This is w8 to the power 0, w8 to the power 1, w8 to the power 2 and finally w8 to the power 3. So this is how we can design the butterfly for 8 point DIT FFT. Now let us calculate point number 8. Point number 8 states that the number of complex multiplications is given by n by 2 log n base 2. So my length of the sequence capital N is equal to 8 by 2 log 8 base 2. So this is 3 log 8 base 2 and it can be written as 3 log 2 this is 2 to the power 3 which is 9 log 2 base 2 which is equal to 9. So total 9 number of complex multiplications are there for the calculation of DFT using DIT FFT. Now point number 9 states that the number of complex additions is given by n log n base 2. So n is 8 
log of 8 base 2 which is 8 log of 2 to the power 3 that is 24 number of complex additions are there in fast Fourier transform. So in this lecture we have discussed how to draw the butterfly model for 8 point DFT by the help of necessary and important calculations. Now in the next lecture we will solve few numericals based on 4 point and 8 point DFT using DITF50 algorithm. Thank you.